Cause every time I step up in the building, everybody's hands go up. And they stay there, and they stay there, and they stay there. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn, it's very nice to meet you. And welcome back to Cash Envelope Stuffing. <laughs> yes, I'm sure if you can tell, I am pumped. Yes, that's right, you heard it. We're back to stuffing some cash envelopes. There's gonna be a bit of a change though because of um, my, my, my money, my money, my money that is happening. There's a bit of a change. Um, we're gonna figure it out. You guys are here with the process of watching me work through my money. That's why we're here, right? Yes. <laughs> so I realized it's been a while since I've actually stuffed cash envelopes and I do have a bit of new followers since the last time I stuffed cash envelopes. So this little method might be new to some people. It's been what? Like the last time I actually had a paycheck to stuff cash envelopes was like March beginning end of middle of March sometimes so April May June July August like four and a half months at this point wow four and a half months and I have not stuffed cash envelopes I'm excited this is gonna be kind of like a new thing again for me because it's like I'm touching cash if you haven't like grabbed cash to touch cash it makes you feel good about yourself I will say and even if it's only like a couple hundred bucks worth of 20s. It feels great. So I do want to have a video going a bit more in depth about cash envelope methods and how I'm going to be doing my cash envelope methods once I kind of figure that out for this new season of my life. But really quickly for people who are new and who don't know what cash envelope stuffing is, basically for some people like myself, you do a zero base budget. There is going to be every dollar that you have a paycheck has a place that it's going to. You basically are telling your money where to go. So this way, if you're someone like me who can very easily just like swipe their debit card really easily, you're not overdrafting your card and you're not spending money on things that it shouldn't be spent on. Like for me, it's now this new yarn place that's by my work. Same parking lot as this bubble place that's by my work, so haha, <laughs> very dangerous stuff. <laughs> you can do this type of zero based budgeting really easily with like an Excel sheet so you don't actually have to be carrying cash with you. But the cash is really helpful if you are someone like me who will swipe your debit card really easily without really paying attention to it. It's basically saying, hey, you only have $40 a week, a month, however you end up doing the staffing, to spend on a certain thing. Once you're out, you are out. You can't overdraft your envelopes because there's nothing in there. So you guys watch the process. You can also go back and watch some of my older videos where I was working like, a plethora of jobs and stuffing cash envelopes all the time. You can make your own, make them really cute, make them really cheap, or you can also like invest and buy some really good high quality stuff over on Etsy. So without further ado, grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I got some iced tea because I'm telling myself I need more water in my life, but instead I grab tea. So <laughs> and let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into everything here. This is my bullet journal. You guys know it. We love it. That is my eczema. Oh, no, nope, we hate that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this here is a dingbass journal. You guys know that I love them. They are a really ethically sound company. Faux leather. It's really beautiful. They love the environment. We all love that. And then my favorite pen, this Pilot G 2.05. Hello. Hi, there you are. Anyways, I just I like the I like the tip of it, and so it's, it's a good line weight here for me, especially in the bullet journal, and it doesn't bleed through or tear up the page or anything. So, going into this here, how I like to have my bullet journal set up is I have my weekly to dos here on the left, and then my cash envelopes here on the right. And now I don't have to do quotes; it's an actual cash envelopes. Ah! <laughs> Yay, okay. Um, and then the way that I figure out what my cash envelopes are going to be. We'll show you here in August. I have my income and my spending log where I log everything that I spend every single day. <laughs> and then I make those videos over on my Patreon. So if you want to see them, you can go and check it out. Anyways, so, oh, so exciting. Okay, so we're gonna do some writing and do some explaining. Um, per usual, in editing, gonna zoom in, but I'm not actually zooming in in real life because my camera doesn't zoom in. So the quality is gonna be meh. So, yeah, <laughs> here we go. Okay, and then of course we've got my fun shadows here. So, yes, cash envelopes. You can see I'm super excited because there's a lot of exclamation marks. Um, so my paycheck. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out if I'm getting paid weekly or bi-weekly. The reason being is currently I am on week four. I just started week four of training today, 
but I have two paychecks in, both of them equaling up to a week. So I guess I'm gonna find out this week if I get paid for last week. Sorry if that's confusing. Basically, after the first week of my training, I got notice that I got a paycheck, a physical paycheck. I talked about it last week, and then a couple days later, after I was able to actually get the physical paycheck, before I could even deposit it, I looked into my bank account and I got a uh, direct deposit as well. And it was a different whole other money thing. It wasn't like, they gave me a physical paycheck and then they're like, oh, oops, we actually have a direct deposit and then gave me a direct deposit. It was two separate payments. So in total here for two weeks of pay, essentially that's what I got was $964.74. Now I do bank with USAA. There is not a USAA bank anywhere near me. I think the closest one is probably like, I think 45 minutes away. So I can go and withdraw money from other bank accounts um, or bank ATMs. There is that $3 withdraw fee for having to do that, but USAA pays that fee. So I can also only withdraw denominations of $20. So basically this is what I'm doing for this week while I'm still trying to figure out when I'm getting paid. I left one paycheck in my checking account, not touching that because I know that there are still some other payments that are coming out from the last week that are being put through today. So I didn't want to touch that yet. So what I'm stuffing today is going to be just $420. My paycheck that comes in is $437 and like 13 cents or something like that. Um, or whatever the math is, 17 cents. So since I can only withdraw denominations of 20, I could only pull out 420. I'll say like $3 away from being able to pull out 440, which I guess I suppose I could have done that this week, but I figured I'd keep that in there just in case. So. What I'm stuffing is not going to go towards my bills as they normally go towards since I don't have cash chips before. I just have to be mindful with the other money that's still in my account, these payments that are coming up. So I have my subscriptions, $50 of subscriptions, and my car insurance, which is $150. So that's $200 right there that is going to be taken directly out of my checking account. I'm not stuffing that today because I'm in that limbo period. You know, you know. Anyways, what I am stuffing, if I can just move everything up, is going to be my weekly spending. So my weekly spending gas right now is at $70 for both Brian and I for the week. And then food is at 120. And then toiletries is gonna be $10. Now I do wanna add something to this weekly spending, um, which I think I'm gonna actually have to get some more envelopes because I mean, we'll see here in a second when I pull it up, I need new envelopes. <laughs> a separate food envelope for extra takeout, like this one is gonna be just groceries and then an extra one for, since Brian and I work in offices, if there's a day that we maybe don't pack a lunch or whatever, or there's a night when we really like can't or too busy to cook or whatever, we wanna just order takeout. So I'm gonna eventually have that envelope, but right now I'm not gonna do that. Just while I get in the, the hang and the flow of things again. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure everything, oh, I'm excited to see this. Okay, I'm gonna get everything looking all pretty here for you guys, and then I'll be right back. Ta-da! <laughs> it's so exciting and kind of boring because it's just 20s. Um, but yay! Okay, this is great. Um, I'm really excited. Okay, well, you guys, drum roll, please. We got the box back, <laughs> yay! Except this time it's not stuffed with cash, so this this reveal is not as fun as it used to be. Um, it is going to be just envelopes. Eventually, I will probably start working um, once Brian goes back to touring. Ooh, that color change was weird. But yeah, once Brian goes back to touring, I'll probably start working at a, like a barista job again. But for now, just doing. A full time thing, anyways. Um, so the envelopes that I want to look for are my gas, food, and toiletries. So let's see what 
gotten here. Ooh, this self envelope has two dollars in it. Fancy that. Okay, so we got gas, got food, and I do not see a toiletries envelope. Ah, here's okay. Well, here's my old toiletries envelope, I guess. I need to go and hunt for my newer one, my fancy looking one. But we'll just do this. So gas, food, and toiletries, these envelopes are from Budget Like a Boss Babe. They hold up fantastically. Um, super awesome. Ooh, is there money in here? No. There's usually like a dollar in my food one. And nothing in the toiletries. These envelopes, ooh, this is looking jank. These envelopes were from Target for a pack of like 50 or 60 for like 50 or 60 cents. Oh no, the battery is going to die. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Battery just died for a second. How to replace that? So, if you want these type of envelopes, check out Budget Like a Boss Babe. She has a discount code for my followers down below. I don't think I've, I think I've mentioned that before, but it's always in my description for these budgeting videos. And then, yeah, these ones for Target. If you want to make, if you want to do this and you want to make them sturdier, uh, just like scotch tape on top of them will make them like nice and sturdy, so you don't get these fun little rips on the corner. So, like I said, I only have denominations of 20, but I need 70 and 10. So let me look and see if I have, I'm trying to see if any of my old sinking fund envelopes had anything in them, but they do not. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of hold these off to the side. Maybe I'm not going to put anything into toiletries yet, or maybe I will. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to look up and see if I can just go to a other bank here and try to pull out the denominations and like the exact denominations that I want. See if that's possible because like I said, there's no USAA bank nearby me. If not, I can always do this and then just go to like a restaurant or a bar or a coffee shop and ask for change, which probably could be a thing. I can make that like part of my little like treat for myself. Right now I have it to where on Fridays my little treat for myself is going to the boba shop, the previously mentioned boba shop and treating myself to some boba. So maybe while I'm there I could be like, hey, let me pull out my money for the day and get some, some change. Um, but I didn't do that because I was just too excited today and it was raining and I just wanted to get my cash and come home and start filming this. So, <laughs> um, we're just going to go ahead and stuff what we can. So for gas, I think I'm just going to put 60 because I know that um, I did just fill up my gas tank so it's not going to be an issue today or any time this week really and still trying to learn and determine exactly how much I need to put away for gas every week. So I think 60 for both Brian and I will be good. I'll do that. Cool. Food gets 120. Oh hey boy boy. So on 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 for food. Oh, okay. And then toiletries, I guess I'll just put a 20 in there for now. Which actually, yeah, I'll do that. I'll put 20 into this toiletries here because I think I mentioned last time that, uh, that I do still need to get some of that, um, sustainable toothpaste I want to get that and I want to get like sustainable sponges because we have just the ones that we have just get gross really quickly and I know the sustainable ones don't get so gross so quickly and don't feel so bad about going through them but that's gonna do it for the cash envelopes there is money left still oh I didn't write down what the total was 200 but I'm gonna fix this make that 20 and make that 60 So 200, so I still have 220, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220 right here. What I'm gonna do with that, I think, is for right now, I'm trying to think if I want to do that extra little spending money right now or wait until next week. I think what I'll do is I'll wait until next week. So this money, I'm just gonna put back in the box. I used to have a bills envelope. Let me see if I still have one. I do not. 
Anyways, I used to have a bills envelope and any extra money went into that envelope to go towards future bills, but I do not. So I'm just going to keep this money inside here because I don't know if I'm being paid this week or next week. So that's kind of like, that's going to be what's happening. Um, <laughs> because I'm still figuring that part out. Um, and then I have mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I am only showing the money that is coming in on my paychecks with... Brian, we're not showing his money and nor am I showing right now his, I guess, his portion of the bills, which he really only has like his phone, his gym, and like his car insurance really. Um, and our rent is still coming out of his old account. We're waiting for his card to come in for him signed onto my USA account so I can just budget all from one, one bank basically. Um, because I also am waiting for checks. I've never owned a checkbook. And our landlords only accept checks. So that's also why I've never included rent because it's still been all coming out of Brian's account. So yes, there's that. That's that's it. I did it. I stuffed cash envelopes. I'm excited. I gotta rewrite on these again. Oh, I'm so excited to use these again. They're so pretty. Okay, um, but yeah, I think that's that. If you have any questions about this whole process, or if you're new to cash envelopes, um, I do want to make a video explaining things a bit more. Will that video come out this week? Probably not. Will it come out next week? Uh, I don't know. But <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and uh, we'll chat. Sounds great. Okay. Yes. Easy peas. Nice. Love it. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my cash envelope video here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, cause I thoroughly enjoyed. I'm so excited to get back into this and like really going like zoning and honing in on money and like not penny pinching, but just like knowing where my money is, you know? Cause right now it's really helpful for me to have those Patreon videos of like writing down everything I'm spending money on. Cause I have no idea where I'm spending my money at the moment. It's not too much of a problem, but like it could be a problem. So yeah, I'm excited about doing cash envelopes again. Ah, I'm so excited. But if you are new to this whole cash envelope method, just know that you can adjust it to any way that fits perfectly for your life as long as it works for you. And as long as it's something that you feel like you can actually stick to. Sometimes there are people out there who have their videos about what it is that they do with their money or there's financial gurus out there that they can be really strict and really harsh about their rules. And then that drives you crazy and you are not enjoying life because you're so stressed out about the money of trying to get out of money and control your money and it could be overwhelming. So take a breath. We're fine. We're chill. Find a way that makes your money work for you. So that way you don't have to work hard for your money. I mean, yes, work hard for your money. Get, get that paycheck. Be proud of yourself. You did it. You did it. I feel like I should script these videos because this is just too much sometimes. My friend Liesl, as you guys know, recently moved to Nashville and now she is like exploring and doing life on her own officially now that she's out of college, she's doing the full adult life. And so she said that she was watching my videos and I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry that this is your exposure to the financial world is through my videos. So I gave her some other like resources to look up, the financial diet, one of my favorites, you know, all of Dave Ramsey's videos. You just pick and choose from different videos and different ideals and then just find what works for you. So while she was talking to me about it, she mentioned that she would like to hear me kind of explain cash envelopes a bit more and the way that I explain things, I guess. Because <laughs> I guess it makes sense when I talk about things <laughs> in like a casual way because I don't fully understand things. So. so if you guys have questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you see a question down below that you feel like you can answer, feel free to leave an answer as well. Let's help each other out during all of this because who knows, I may probably not have all the answers that you are looking for. It's good to do research though. And if I'm part of that research for you, fantastic. And again, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, next week, I guess we'll find out if I'm getting paid weekly or bi-weekly or what is happening. When do my paychecks come in? I do not know. Uh, <laughs> That news I'm excited to get. The other thing I'm excited for is I am 224. It is gonna be my birthday on Wednesday. I am an old lady. Oh my God, I stepped on the cat. So if you guys wanna wish me like an early happy birthday, cause I don't know when this video is going up, probably hopefully tonight, which is the night before my birthday, feel free to do that too. Cause it's fantastic. We can have a little birthday party in the comments below. Woo! Getting turned on tea. <laughs> you can get turned on tea, just if moderation. Speaking 
of pleasant, happy little birthdays, I present to you guys today's Pets of the Week. Ching! Look at this dog. Oh my gosh, it's his birthday today. He is so gorgeous. Look at that hair. Look at those ears. Oh my goodness, I want to be spoiled and treated like royalty like this dog is on his birthday. Look at those his birthday boy treats. They look so good. I want them. Everybody wish this little pupper happy birthday in the comments. Happy birthday to you. You are a cutie poo. That's not a right song. Happy birthday to you. Woo! If you want to see your pet featured in next week's video, be sure to DM me pictures over on Instagram. If it's their birthday or any kind of celebration, send them to me. I'm excited. I'm excited for Halloween. Oh my goodness, it's September now. Send me pictures of your pets looking scholarly or dressed up ready for Halloween if you get them costumes. You know, you could run your costumes by me. I could help you pick out the costume for your pet. We could help you pick out the costume for your pet. It'll be fantastic. Send me pictures. Let's get this going. <laughs> if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me on all of my social media at Quinn Kaylin, We could chat. Damn me, we could become best friends. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Show it off, you probably won't be in frame. Look at how handsome he is, and that button up. Country boy, I love you. <laughs> it's random money. Hallelujah, it's raining my day. Amen.